New tonight, a Bay Area startup is taking a new approach to the self-driving car race. Instead of uh, building the technology around the car, Zooks is doing it the other way around. And Night Beats Betty U took one for a spin. It looks like something out of a sci-fi fantasy film, but this all-electric self-driving prototype is breaking a lot of real ground. Right now, Zooks is in the process of designing and testing what we hope to have on the road basically by 2020. That's the plan. Uh, and you're just seeing the pieces of it. I went for a ride around the Slack National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park. We're all about safety here. Where Zooks is testing its top secret technology. Unlike other major players in the self-driving car race, Zooks is building from the ground up instead of retrofitting existing cars. We're looking to help solve problems for cities. So we want to make them safer and we want to move people around, get rid of congestion. Mark Rosekind is Chief Safety Innovation Officer at the four-year-old startup. He was the former head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, appointed by President Obama. Recent high-profile accidents involving self-driving cars, including a deadly Uber accident in Arizona, have raised questions about the technology and whether it's ready for public roads. Really, we're talking about a revolution here. We know some bad things are going to happen, but we have to make sure we're doing everything as safely as possible. Zooks just raised $500 million, bringing its valuation to $3.2 billion. It started in this old firehouse on Stanford grounds, and today is a 500-plus person company headquartered in Foster City. It's stealth like Toyota Highlanders are already circling San Francisco streets 16 hours a day to test its software. We have picked San Francisco as a test site because it's like our CEO says a double black diamond. The first Zooks vehicles that you'll see on public roads actually won't have steering wheels or pedals. That's because they're designed to be fully autonomous and so you can call one on your phone. It'll be on your app, right? It'll be app right there. You'll call it and take you from A to B. For now, Zooks is keeping images of what the final vehicle will look like under wraps, but do expect passenger seats to face each other. And? We've got over 20 different new innovations that we're going to have on our vehicles that aren't available in anything else that's currently on the road that will help people be safer. On the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu.